Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on how to extend our Unity plugin to get a callback from on activity result without overriding the standard Unity player activity. We will add a child activity to our plugin that will be launched when required, and we'll wait for a call to start activity for result, and pass that back to our C-sharp callback function. Normally we'd do this by extending the Unity player activity class, but that means we won't play nice with any other plugins or extensions that want to do the same thing. And we must make sure our Android project imports the correct version of the Unity player each time we upgrade. Once again, this tutorial assumes a reasonable familiarity with Unity, Java, Android programming, and Android Studio. Let's get started by loading up our previous project in Unity and the My Plugin project in Android Studio. All of the changes we're going to make this time will be entirely to the Java code. Right click on the Unity tab in the project view and select New Activity Empty Activity. Call the activity on result callback, deselect backwards compatibility, and make sure the package name matches the package name you've been using. For me, that's com.cwgtech.unity. Click Finish. If you forgot to uncheck the backwards compatibility box, your new activity will extend app compact activity. You'll need to change that to just activity. Add the following four lines. Public static final string log tag equals my plugin dot log tag plus underscore on result. Public static my plugin share image callback share image callback string caption URI image URI. You'll get an error on my plugin dot log tag. So you'll need to switch back to the My Plugin class and change the log tag definition from private to protected. We're going to use this modified log tag to identify the log entries from this child activity, while the static callback variable will hold a pointer to the C-sharp callback our main plugin receives. Switch back to our new activity and add the following method before the onCreate method. Void my finish int result if share image callback not equal null share image callback dot on share complete result share image callbacks equals null finish we'll use this to exit our activity calling the callback method if it exists and then clearing it after use now modify the default on create method start with removing the line set content view r dot layout activity underscore on underscore result underscore callback the new activity will not have a content view, so we'll not need to set it. Add the following lines. Log.i, log tag, on create bundle. Intent, intent equals get intent. If intent not equals null, caption equals intent dot get string extra intent dot extra underscore text. Image URI equals URI intent dot get extras get intent dot extra underscore stream log dot i log tag uri plus image uri if intent equals equals null or image uri equals equals null my finish one return this will get the intent passed to our activity and grab the caption and image uri that were included in the intent if there is no intent or image then just exit the activity as we have nothing to do and we have been called incorrectly now to call the share intent and wait for a result Add the following. Try. Intent share intent equals new intent intent dot action underscore send. Share intent set data and type intent dot get data intent dot get type. Share intent put extra intent extra underscore stream image URI. If caption not equals null share intent dot put extra intent dot extra underscore text caption. Start activity for result intent.createChooser share intent share with comma one catch exception e e dot print stack trace log dot i log tag error plus e dot get localized message my finish two we copy forward the data from the incoming intent to a new intent which we then pass on to the chooser and wait for a result Wrap the whole thing in a try catch so any errors will be flagged and the app will not crash. Add a new method that will override the default on activity result method and pass the result code back to our callback. Add override. 
protected void on activity result int request code int result code intent data log.i log tag comma on activity result plus request code plus comma plus result code plus comma plus data my finish result code the result will be minus one or zero depending on the share activity so we'll pass that back to our c sharp method note that earlier we sent a one or two depending on the error condition so our c sharp code could check for that and give the user more information that's the java code for our child activity completed but we have a few things to clean up in the manifest and we can also remove the layout that was auto created expand the res folder in the project hierarchy and right click on the layout folder select delete and confirm the deletion this will remove the folder and the unneeded layout file now expand the manifest folder and double click the android manifest.xml file after the name equals dot on result callback but before the closing greater than add the following line android theme equals at android style slash theme dot translucent dot no title bar this will cause our child activity to effectively have no display if we use the no display theme then we run into a problem on android 6 and higher a no display theme expects an activity to call finish before it's resumed in our case that means we don't get the on result callback as our activity has been terminated switch back to the my plugin java source where we will modify the plugin to use our new child activity Go to the section in share image where we prepare the share intent. We're going to replace the call to start activity with the following three lines. Share intent dot set class main activity comma on result callback class. On result callback dot share image callback equals callback. Main activity dot start activity share intent. Make sure you remove the line main activity dot start activity intent dot create chooser share intent share with. And you can also remove any references to the result variable as we will no longer use it, including the line callback.onshareComplete.Result as our new child activity will call the callback hook when the onActivity result is triggered. That's all the modifications completed, so build the plugin by clicking on the green play button, assuming you've still got the copy plugin task indicated in the dropdown. When Gradle is complete, you can switch back to Unity and build the project using the new plugin. I'm going to run the APK on the emulator as before, but now when I tap the share button, I'll still get the share dialog. However, the result pop-up alert will not occur until I've finished interacting with the share dialog. And that's it done. We've now got a child activity that will send our image to the share system and wait for it to finish and return a value, which we'll then forward to our Unity app. You can use this technique for any intent you need a result from. You'll need to add custom code that either uses the request code passed to the intent or write your own specific child activities that will handle the cases you need, whether that is a photo picker or a QR code scan. I hope you find this tutorial useful and are able to use it to add new functions to your apps. As always, please follow me on Twitter or visit my blog. You can see the addresses on the screen and in the text below. I've also posted this tutorial code directly on GitHub, which is also linked below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.